Yeah, what up? <laughs> Man, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, you know what it is? I'm, let me tell you what I'm irritated about real quick. Like, I almost went to court last week. I was about to sue my barber. This, this dude almost murdered me. This dude cut my mole off and he ain't say anything. <laughs> and I know it don't sound like much, but <laughs> you get your mole cut off, you bleed slowly. I didn't know what was going on with me. I was sitting in the chair getting weak. I didn't even know why. I just... Hey, y'all got a gas leak in here or something? What's going on? Why am I dying? <laughs> I saw my grandmother walk in. She been dead for 10 years. Grandma, what you doing here? <laughs> he said nothing. I'm sliding out the chair. He cut my hair as I go down like it ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> well, you need that $20 badly, brother. Uh, back out here single, which is uncomfortable. I'm on these dating apps, just doing an app called Soul Swipe. I know it don't sound like it's real. It's really, it's the black tender. I don't know why they just call it black tender. I don't know why they call it soul swipe. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm making this up. This is a real thing. They got noises and everything with it. Like when you like somebody, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You don't like nobody, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're not sure, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> laughing. I don't like being back single. It's tough because, you know, I, I was married, so, you know, when you become a... This is the thing about it. Men, men, it's so hard for us to be hurt. Like, women, y'all could be hurt and emotional. Your friends will be there for you. They'll bring wine over. They'll, they'll bring magazines. Y'all cut out your new life and put it on the board and be like, this is your future. <laughs> Cry with you. Have a good time. You know what I mean? When you hurt, your boys don't know what to do with you. You just sitting on the couch crying, huddled up. They all just staring at you like, I mean, I don't know what you want us to do, fam. I mean, <laughs> been cheating on her for three years. You know what you did? <laughs> but shut up, Frank! He being single, you know, you single and, you know, people love to hook you up, especially if they're excited for you. Like, you're a good person. We got to find somebody for you. But, you know, the, the one group of friends I don't like to hook you up is my white friends. There's a lot of white people here, but... Y'all love hooking y'all black friends up with that one black person at your job. I don't understand that. Y'all think just because we black, we gonna get along. That is not a thing. You hear what I'm telling you? They be excited too. Oh my God, oh my God. You're gonna love Melva. She is hilarious. She's not even funny, she's just mean, but you think she's funny because she curses you out every day. <laughs> she don't even like you, you don't even know that. You speak to her every day, hey, Melba, get out of my face. <laughs> You're hilarious. I know someone perfect for you. I need to hook you up with this mean woman. It's a true story. I got to hook up with this woman. She looked exactly like me. Ain't that crazy? She had the glasses, the goatee. She had the Jordans on, everything. I'm like, damn. Those shoes was wedges. <laughs> Saw me, she's like, ugh, this him? I said, lady, if I'm ugly, you ugly. You hear what I'm saying to you? <laughs> you have a beer, lady! <laughs> y'all laughing. That's a true story. Ain't no punchline to it. That's what happened. <laughs> Thank y'all so much, y'all. I'm Lil Real. That's my time. Peace out.